thinking about Belgian and world in one city, we're in Waffelmeister today in South Ken. This is Alex. Alex, tell me a bit about Belgian food. To me, it's all mussels and mayonnaise and chips and beer. Oh, you got it wrong there. You've got amazing products from Belgium, I'm telling you, James. Most importantly, the Belgian waffle, the Liège waffle. Liège. Yes. What does that mean? What does it mean? It's a little place in Belgium. Mm -hmm. and that's where waffles are made by hand. Okay, I've been to Bruges. Is it near there? It's about 20, 30 kilometers. So not take. far. Yeah. So how do we make a waffle? Well, basically, you want to do it yourself? Let's have a go. Yeah, fantastic. We have some fruit and dough down here. So you just put that up here. Right. Um, we've got some tools. Just take the spoon mm -hmm. and the fork. All you need to do is poke in there, lift up one piece of dough. Oh, it's really supple. Yeah, there you go. Whoop. Put it sort of on the left edge there. And then you just need to spread it out. Right. Perfect. A little bit further. You need about sort of eight squares of, of that space. I've got six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is go. that enough? Yeah, brilliant. You want to do one more? Well, let's do another yeah. one. While you're at it, you might as well. Right. Will they join together? No, no, no. They won't. I like the sugar bits in it. Yeah, it's uh, pearl sugars. They right. come out of the waffle while you bake it, and it caramelizes inside the waffle iron. And it gives this nice texture. Okay, is that enough? Perfect. Right. right. Just close the waffle iron. Oop! Yeah. Tips over. <laughs> and now we wait about three minutes for mm -hmm. the waffles to bake. Okay. Okay, James, right. I think we're ready to go. Let's have a look. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, hi, James. So stick it further on the edge. Yeah. And then you slowly lift it up. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Purple. Ooh. Bit of love there, otherwise you're going to tear it apart. No, that's, that's good. That's good. In from the edge. Yeah, very Ooh. nice. That was fantastic. Right, so all we need to do is try them now. Yeah, I just need to wait for them to cool down about a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And if you look in here in the waffle iron, you see those bits? That's all the pearl sugar that's oh, come yeah. out and that's caramelizing. Ready to prove it for the next yeah. one. Yeah. It's really hot. But really good. <laughs> huh? Fluffy, golden, mm. covered in the nice sugar. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for coming by. Pleasure. I'm James McIntosh, and we're here in Divertimenti on Brompton Road today to cook one of the 50 cuisines for Divertimenti's 50th anniversary. After seeing how waffles are made in Waffelmeister today at South Kent Tube Station, we're going to cook them in the Aga. And I don't know about you, but I've never made waffles in the Aga before, so let's give it a go. To cook authentic Belgian waffles in the Aga, we've got some prepared waffle dough, we've got some toppings, we've got mini Oreos, hundreds and thousands, mini marshmallows, and some chocolate. With the chocolate, just leave it at the back of the aga. It melts beautifully in two or three minutes and it doesn't seize. And we've got a waffle maker that's available in Divertimenti and then some sunflower oil or butter just to uh, lubricate the waffle maker. The first thing we need to do is heat up the waffle iron, but we need to oil it first. So if we just open it, put a drizzle of oil in, close it up, let it drip through and heat it up. We're going to do that on the floor of the roasting oven. On all augers, on a two, three, four, or five oven auger, it's the top oven. Leave it on the floor. That's the same temperature as the auger boiling plate, so it's really hot and it'll heat through quickly. Now that the waffle maker is heated up, we're going to take some of the waffle dough, place it onto the hot end, peel the paper off, close the waffle maker, It'll all squidge through, pop the clasp on the base, and back onto the floor of the roasting oven. We'll leave that be for about five or six minutes just to cook through, turn it over just to colour the other side. The waffle's nicely cooked, so we'll just take it out of the auger. Have a look, it's lovely and golden. What we'll do, pop it on a plate and start to decorate. Be careful, it is hot. Ooh. If you want to make a second waffle, place the waffle maker back into the aga again, on the floor of the roasting oven, and it'll be nice and hot, ready to cook the second one. You don't need to oil it again. 
So we have the waffle. What we're going to do is decorate it. So quite a few mini marshmallows. You can put some cream or ice cream on if you want. We have some hundreds and thousands. They go everywhere. They taste really good. Some baby Oreos. There we go. And some of the nice melted chocolate. There we go. See, it hasn't seized. It's just sat at the back of the roasting oven. And there we go. Nice Belgian waffle made in the auger.